Chisinau is the capital city of Republic of Moldova, a country that appeared on the European map in 1991, when the former Moldavian Soviet Socialist Republic proclaimed its sovereignty. On August 27th, this country celebrates its independence, which marks the first brick in the construction of a new state on the basis of democratic values and European orientation. On August 27th, 1989, this square was crowded with over 750,000 people from entire Moldova. An ocean of people, if we take into account that the entire population of the country was then a bit over 4 million people. They traveled to Chisinau to participate to the great national assembly and to demand their right to national identity. It was a unique historical moment and ever since the main square of the capital city, where the most important events take place, is called the Great National Assembly Square. Currently, the Republic of Moldova is building a new pro-European destiny and the capital city of this country tends towards the standards of a modern and comfortable city for its inhabitants and of an attractive city for tourists and investors. I think that an European capital could be like a Swiss watch, which works perfectly. Our city, uh, I would say, is on the road to become an European capital. We have a lot of work to do, but we have uh, made the necessary reforms in order to ensure the further development of the city. And now it is about just to continue our journey, just to go on. Chisinau is situated in the center of the country. The city lies on seven hills and covers a total area of 120 square kilometers. The Chisinau airport is located at a distance of 13 kilometers from the capital city. At present, 17 airline companies have charter and regular flights from Chisinau International Airports towards 28 destinations. The airport is fitted out with a 3,590 meter long runway, one of the longest takeoff landing strips in Europe. The airport terminal has a processing capacity of over 1 million people per year. Traveling from the airport, one can see a special entry into the city. Two buildings, which are called the gates of the city, have become symbolic for the capital's image. When you come to Chisinau, you discover one of the greenest cities in Europe. Trees of various species, poplars, sycamores, maples, chestnuts, etc. are planted along the boulevards and streets of the capital city. The city is proud of its many parks and 23 lakes that house the most popular entertainment areas. Stefan Cel Mare Public Park is one of the oldest parks in the heart of the capital. Where Chisinau inhabitants enjoy the greenery, freshness and a public-free Wi-Fi area. The 
main administrative buildings of the state, government's office, parliament building and president's office are situated on the main boulevard of the city, Stefan Celmare Boulevard. We can also see here the monument of the most beloved Moldovan ruler of all times, Stefan Celmare. This monument was erected in 1925 and became the symbol of national resistance, gathering flowers of gratitude during all the regimes that ruled the country. The first written records of Chisinau date back to 1436. Initially, Chisinau was a small market village, inhabited by several families of peasants, craftsmen and merchants. Step by step, Kishno turned from a market village into an important trade center. The residential areas were grouped around parish churches. After a while, the settlement started to develop into a cultural, religious and educational center. In the aftermath of the Russo-Turkish War of 1812, when the areas between the Prut and Nistra rivers was attached to the Russian Empire, Chisinau was assigned as the center of Bessarabia Gubernia. Chisinau obtained the status of a town and its appearance changed visibly under the wand of architect Alexander Bernardazzi. He knew how to reflect in the city's architecture the peculiarities of Chisinau, a town with huge imprint of cultural interferences that were overlapping throughout its history. After the unification with Romania in 1918, Chisinau developed quickly. Several schools, printing houses, libraries, theaters and cinemas were opened. A series of magazines and newspapers were published. Education developed. In 1918, the popular Moldovan University was founded, as well as other higher education institutions. Some food industry enterprises were set up. Several banks were opened. Luxury hotels appeared. The urban transport developed. During the World War II, the city was bombed extensively and suffered a lot of destruction. The architect Alexei Shchusev, author of Lenin's Mausoleum on the Red Square in Moscow, led the development of the General Reconstruction Plan of Chisinau in 1947-1949, when the city extended with new residential areas. After the war, Chisinau became the capital of the Moldavian SSR. And this brought another spirit and new decorations to its appearance, which serve now as a proof of an ended epoch. Currently, Kishno is the administrative, economic, political and cultural center of the country. Today, the municipality of Kishno counts about one million inhabitants. The mayor's office is situated in this old building, right in the heart of Chisinau. It was built in 1898-1901 during the administration of the most longevous mayor of Chisinau, Karl Schmidt. A well-known melody, the anthem of the city, can be heard from the mayor's office tower at sharp hours. Kishinev is also called the White Stone City. This is due to the fact that many buildings in Kishinev were built from white limestone, extracted from stone mines in the vicinity of the city. 
A well-known stone mine exploded for this purpose is situated at only 15 kilometers from Kishinev and is currently one of the most important tourist destinations from Moldova. It is the famous Creek of Cellars, located in the deep caves of an old stone mine. Today, this underground town is 50 kilometers in length. 80 meters below the surface of the earth, one can find streets and boulevards named after the wines that were produced and stored here. One can also discover here an exceptional wine collection, consisting of over one million bottles of the rarest wines from all over the world, as well as the tastiest local vintage wines. Krikova Winery is established by law as an object of national and cultural heritage. Kishino is a hospitable city. Its visitors can easily find hotels or restaurants according to their preference, status or wallet. Either coming for business or tourist purposes, the guests of our capital should taste the traditional cuisine and wines that we're so proud of. If they want to buy some souvenirs, it's a piece of cake. The popular craftsmen wait for them on the handicraft market in the center of the capital. From the economic perspective, Chisinau is a developing capital city with huge investment opportunities. Plenty local and foreign plants and manufacturing companies operate here. We can say that the most successful and promising projects are in the area of public catering and services, as well as garment production, shoe, carpet and furniture factories, construction enterprises and real estate companies that have clients both in the country and abroad. The most famous local brands include the Bucuria Suites, Franzeluza Bakery Products, Krikova Wines and Sparkling Wines, Zorile Shoes or Flora Carpets. In early autumn, Kishno gets younger thanks to the spirit of the young people who come to study in various higher educational institutions from the city. In fact, the Republic of Moldova is one of the youngest countries in Europe, while Chisinau is the nursery of future specialists of the country in all areas of activity. The most important international events of the country take place in Chisinau. These include cultural events that attract to Chisinau artists from all over the world. In May, Chisinau hosts one of the most important cinema events of the Eastern Europe, the international documentary film festival Chronograph, a screen where the reality turns into art. Maria Biesho Invites Festival brings to Chisinau the most virtuosic and well-known opera singers, as well as ballet companies from all over the world. Maria Biesho and Maria Cibotari, and more recently Valentina Nafornica, are the golden voices of the world opera coming from this piece of world called Moldova. Chisinau is the cradle of several world-known music talents. Here, 
started their activity as Dukchi's Dup band. <laughs> Dan Balan and Ozone Band. The famous Norok Band. Lautari. Jock Ensemble and the host of the International Ethno Jazz Festival from Kishino, Trigon Band. Chisinau is a developing city. The local public authorities, in tandem with the civil society, have now several ambitious projects in the pipeline, which would transform the capital city in a more modern center, aligned to the standards of living of the European metropolises. First of all, uh, we would like to see more economical development, more investments, more jobs and more comfort for the citizens. Then we would like to see more tourists here, more people coming and uh, making Kishinev more attractive for the international community. We would like to include the city into the club of the um, European capitals and to have for that all the necessary tools to develop the city and to adapt the city to the challenges of the 21st century. October 14th is the celebration of Chisinau. The capital city celebrates its patron saint day. As a rule, on patron saint day, the Moldovan houses are full of guests, tasty meals and joy. Thus, on the patron saint day, the central boulevard becomes the bed of a river of people who come downtowns for shopping, walks, dancing or tasting of traditional meals. Kishino is a charming city. It enters into your soul, making you feel a part of it and it becoming a part of you. Kishinev belongs not only to its inhabitants, but to all those who are in love with it. With its hundred-year-old alleys and well-care parks, quiet streets and melancholic passers-by. All the new buildings behind whose windows people live their lives.